Uh, I mean, out of dance, I said a uh, uh, real desire to want to get better. I mean, you know, he's a, a great player with a lot of potential. And, uh, you know, I knew all along, you know, he could step in and, you know, get the job done. So I'm not surprised at all with what he's done so far. Has it been easy working with him? Yeah, it's been very easy. I mean, we worked a lot last year, so, I mean, the chemistry's there. So, I mean, you know, it's just going out there and, you know, making plays happen and stuff. Sean, get the, get the start back in your home state. How special was that for you? Uh, it's, it's great, you know, going back to Mississippi and playing. Uh, you know, it's been a while since I played there. Uh, you know, and I, a lot of guys I know uh, that play with Mississippi State. So, I mean, you know, I'm looking forward to the competition. Just talk about your progression. How do you feel like you're kind of settling in now that you've, you've had several games under your belt as a starter? Uh, you know, just, you know, going out there playing in, you know, uh, big games like LSU, you know, Arkansas, Kansas State. Uh, you know, it's really, I'm really getting settled into it, you know, just getting gaining the experience. And it's uh, really helped me a lot going forward and, you know, just knowing how, you know, just to play in big games and, and things like that. Sean, Preston Smith is one of the better defensive ends in the SEC, if not the country this year. What, do you, what have you seen on tape looking at him? Uh, he's a great player. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to, you know, uh, that whole front four, you know, uh, and linebackers, their whole defense, they got a lot of guys from last year coming back. Uh, that are great players, so you know we uh, obviously need to prepare uh, really good this week for those guys. Sean, some of the uh, reasons some of the others have said one, some of the issues with the line have been a chemistry thing. How have you felt, you know, including yourself in that? Oh, you know, we've had a couple of flaws throughout the season, uh, but you know, at this point, you know, I think we're way better than we were last year as all line. Uh, you know, obviously we got a lot of guys, uh, new guys uh, on the line and, you know, a couple of guys injured and things like that. But, you know, we're just working through the perks. And, uh, you know, we, this week, you know, we're, we're taking the time out to, you know, make sure that everything's good hey, for this Saturday. Y'all, you know, you see it get more in sync. You know, because you do, you have to kind of work together as one unit, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it's getting more in sync. You know, we, we're getting better every single every single practice. So You, you talked about playing in these big games, how much did that Kansas State game, how much did that help you now that you look back on it, playing in that environment? Oh, uh, playing in that, that was a great environment. Uh, you know, that was our, really our first um, road game where we had to go in against a ranked team. You know, great atmosphere, you know, great fans there. And, uh, you know, we had to go in and that really helped me out a lot, you know, just getting through that game and, you know, knowing how it feels to go in a road game and, uh, you know, get a win out of uh, two ranked teams. So how tough was communication at Kansas State just with, with the noise and, and what do you learn from that that you can apply to this Saturday as well? Uh, you know, going to a place like that, you know, a hostile environment like that, communication can always be, you know, a key. But, you know, we work through uh, practice uh, throughout the week, you know, make sure everything is good and, you know, we can go in there and make sure everything is clicking as far as communication. Sean, when you go to that unbalanced line look and you're kind of the tight end over there, how do you change kind of your blocking attitude when you're over there? Is it much different? Oh uh, no, it's really not much different. Uh, you know, just uh, pretty much. You know, I, I just do my job. You know, whenever I switch over to that side, uh, you know, just uh, whatever game plan we got for that week. Whenever, whenever I go over there, you know, I'm just focused on doing my job, and that's the same thing I do on the left side. Were you all surprised how open uh, CJ was on the touchdown right there? Uh, no, nah, I can't say I was. I mean, you know, that, that's that's a play that you know we work on a lot. And, uh, you know, pretty much I wasn't surprised. I mean, I've seen it in, uh, in practice and everything, so. You think, obviously, he was in your spot. You could have caught that touchdown if you were there. I don't know about that, man. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. I have to pray for that one. Sean, how tough does Mississippi State's linebackers make it, you know, on an offensive line? They've got some big guys that are in those games. Yeah, like, like I said, they got great players, you know, all over the defense. Their linebackers are really good, uh, very big. Uh, you know, they, they cause a lot of disruption in the offense, so that's one of the things that we're going to have to work on this week. Sean, week to week, how have you been like, grading out with Coach Ryan when it comes to your performances? Uh, I've, been, I've been grading out pretty, uh, pretty well these uh, first five games. Mm -hmm. you know, I've, I've done pretty well. So, you, I mean, would you say you're personally pleased with how you played, or there's still a lot of things you're pretty. No, I mean, I'm always, uh, I'm, you know, I'm always looking to get better at certain areas. And, uh, you know, I, I, I know I could have played better in each one of those games. And, uh, you know, that's what, that's pretty much what I'm working on this week. Sean, what does it do to the offensive line when Nick gets to run around back there like he has the last couple of games scrambling? 
what does it do? For an offensive lineman, what 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 does that what impact does that have on you when you start scrambling around and what you do? Oh uh, well I mean with a guy like Nick man, you know, he's a he's a big playmaker, so I mean pretty much, you know, we just gotta, you know, find somebody to hit because I mean if we can get some guys on the ground, he'll make the play. John, sometimes they talk about, you know, each game is it's just the next game. It's it's not so much, but you guys seem to embrace the big games. Is it because you embrace it and say, hey, it is a big game, or is it just that you do treat it like it's every other game? We treat every, you know, whatever game it is, we treat that game, you know, like it's the biggest game of the season, even, you know, when we were playing San Jose State or Louisiana <coughs> Tech. I mean, that, whenever those, those games are next, we, treat, we prepare for that. Just like if we were playing LSU or you know Mississippi State or anything like that.